Hello chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the incredible rook sacrifice game between question master and me. The question master has zero elo but I don't think so. I will try to figure out what is his actual elo ratings so let's go. I started the game with e4 we have e5. I thought I could go for f4 but I prefer to play knight f3. We have the very known opening, Rui Lopez, nothing special here, the Morphe variation of Rui, question master played here d6. Second top move of this opening to build the structure like this, which is called Steinitz defense, so I play c3 to run forward my pawn to d4, making two center pawns in front of these stupid pawns, he is playing like a 3000 rated engine, if he plays bishop d7 then it's like 2700, if knight f6 then 3200 and if bishop e7 then it's maybe 2800, but he played f5, wow, critical choice, that's the first man who tries to play an risky opening against me. He maybe wants to castle in the queen side but his pawn structure is not in a right combination to face my queen side army, so I take the f pawn, bishop takes pawn and we have castle, bishop d6 is a critical move here or play queen d7 to prepare castle, but he played another risky move b5, damaging his own queen side, now I come to understand why his elo is zero, bishop b3 to use the sweet diagonal, he played 2600 to 3500 rated move bishop d3. So after rook here knight f6 we have knight g5 to go to the f7 square, here best move is to play queen d7, let me show you the variation, completely giving the rook for a knight, black will play e4 to sacrifice the rook and put pressure with the pawn and bishop, there is d5 and how do you overcome the center problem. If you choose to play bishop c2 to exchange it then black will bring his another piece to activate it, the knight can create more troubles than the bishop, knight is infinite tactical piece in chess, so rook e3 then the another bishop will come to the land to seize the diagonal, your position will be very bad for a dumb rook, but in our actual game, he didn't find queen d7, that's a 3600 to 4000 elo tactic, that means that he is under 3500, he played d5 to block it, we have queen f3. If you play a 1200 elo move e4 to give black a great bishop outpost, then I will capture the bishop, except that man cannot defeat stockfish in his entire life in chess, we have bishop g6, pawn to d4, I could play queen h3 to use the diagonal, but it may lead into a queen exchanges, I may sacrifice my queen against this stupid bot but I would never trade my queen with him, so I played knight d2, great move, I mean all 4000 elo moves are either brilliant, great or best, not like you 2000 elo human. All moves are inaccuracy, mistake and full of blunders or best or brilliant by chance, we have queen e7 queen to d1, he played castle in long side but his pawns are not healthy to face my attacks, he give me a great chance but first I will break his ego, e3, damaging my king side as he did in the opening, but it's not damaging my diagonal because of my brave pawn structure, that's the secret, my one move have 20 moves of plan, he played h6, knight h3 to go to the f4, and threatening to play a4, we have bishop f5, if you take the knight then after bishop takes, I will break every single pawn combination of yours, he fears and played knight b8 which is a mistake move, best was to push the pawn, try to close the position with pawn and knight, his move indicates me that he have ratings of 3300. We have knight f2 and then, heartbreaking move e3, both knights are under attack, what should I play? Yes you right, it's rook sacrifice on e3, brilliant move, and if you dare to take the rook with the queen, then knight e4 will come to lock your queen escaping lines, you will lose your queen and the game, so back to the position, we have queen d7 knight f1, threatening to play knight g3 to target the bishop on bishop p6 to stop the knight, bishop d2 c5, that's the best move, takes rook e3, bishop d3 to target the rook, rook e1 and we have bishop takes f1, these two bishops took my rook to unemployed square. Rook takes f1 bishop b6, bishop c2 and d4, to open up the diagonal, so after takes we have king b7 and you cannot protect the pawn, so I develops my knight, queen takes check king here knight c6 queen c1, you know what. What is my idea? My idea is to activating my pieces most of the squares to deflect the queen position and attack to the king position, 
I have bishop pair to target the knight with two pieces, open rook files in the d and a file, it will destroy your position, so we have knight d5, rook d1, threatening to play bishop c3 to target the queen with a discover attack, queen e5, rook e1, now I am threatening a discover fork, he played queen d4 again, so bishop c3, and the queen have no square to run. The c4 square will be seized by the pawn, that's why he has to play knight takes bishop, knight takes bishop knight takes knight, knight takes b5 is an incoming attack and bishop e4 is a big threat to the knight and king with queen, so he offers me a queen exchange which I declined, before knight a4 and after some moves later, here if you play any normal kind of move for example g5, then I will capture the knight, takes then rook takes rook, rook takes and then queen g6 check will fork your king rook. And no matter where the king will go he will be destroyed, there will be checkmate in few moves, game will be over so back to the position, we have bishop e3 to block it, so queen a2 and I am threatening for a queen a6 check with the tactical knight c5 shot, so he decided to sacrifice the rook on e4, after takes he get a chance to play knight e5 and he is threatening to play knight here to go knight f5 square anyhow, to trap my king in this bishop, knight and queen cage. I may lose the game so I have to do something, I played knight c5 check, the king can't go any of these squares, because there will be checkmate in few moves, with the knight queen and rook, so he has to play bishop takes c5, queen a6 check king here queen a5 check to the king and the bishop, so king c6, queen check king here, rook c1, rook takes bishop is coming and the king have no square to run, it will be checkmate in few moves because the king is exposed, I have rooks of 2 and a queen, let me show you the variation, if king b1 then queen a7 check, and after 3 moves later, it will be checkmate on c5 with rook takes c5 bishop, game will be over so back to the position, we have king d7. Rook d1 to pin the queen, now you are going to lose the queen, he played almost ok like Magnus Carlsen, but stockfish is stockfish, I can't be defeated. I think his LO ratings is 3150 because he played some inaccuracy moves and risky openings for no reason. His accuracy was 97%, now enjoy the game with my beautiful piano music. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.